Good morning. Today we're going to be learning about how to solve for x when the coefficient is a fraction, also known as dividing with fractions. Back in the olden days, we learned how to do problems like this by isolating the variable or getting x on one side. We did that by dividing by the coefficient. We didn't know the word coefficient at the time, but that's what we were doing. Dividing both sides by the number next to x. And then we also learned, hey, that makes a 1 over there, which leaves me with 1x. And then how many 2s fit into 16? And the answer was 8. That was all great, and life was wonderful. But now we have a different problem, and that is, what do we do when the coefficient is a fraction? We can learn this by actually going back to what we already know and looking at it from a different perspective. Another way of looking at dividing by 2 is also multiplying by the reciprocal. The reciprocal of the coefficient is a number which, when you multiply them together, equals 1. So 1 half of 2 is 1, right? And if we multiply both sides by that reciprocal, I'm going to put my vocab word over here. That's two numbers multiplied together that equal 1. When we multiply both sides by the reciprocal of the coefficient, voila, we still get x equals 8. So we already know how to do this, so this is not really a new thing. Okay, we've been doing it before. Now let's check it out with a real fraction. Okay, let's take 1 sixth x equals 25. You might recognize this from a recent problem during class. What we do, here are the steps, here's the rule in red. Multiply both sides by the reciprocal of coefficient. That's it. If you can remember that, you'll be dialed in every single time. Here we go. Reciprocal of 1 over 6 is 6 over 1. Both sides. This turns that into a single x. And then you can use your calculator if you want. Or you can think how many quarters, 6 quarters, what do I have? $1.50, right? 150. Bam. Multiply both sides by the reciprocal of the coefficient. Let's practice again. 3 fourths of x is 9. Reciprocal, well here's the coefficient. It's the number next to x every time, okay? Flip it. Both sides. That makes a 1 over there. And this makes 36 on top of 3. How did I get 36 on top of 3? 9 is just like saying 9 ones, right? And then we multiply straight across. So 36 on top, 3 as the denominator. How many 3's fit into 36? Right, 12. One more example, then I'll give you a few practice problems, and then we are done. Whoo! 2 thirds of x is 1 half. Okay, one more time. Grip it and flip it. Bam! This makes 1 on this side, and then we multiply straight across, and we get 3 fourths. x equals 3 fourths. Got it? What do you do? I'm listening, I'm listening. Right, multiply both sides by the reciprocal of the coefficient. Ah, good job. Okay, here's some practice problems. It would be great if you did these, if you hit pause after I write these problems, do them, and then check your work because I'm going to go ahead and do them in a moment, okay? I'm going to write three of them here. All right, so why don't you go ahead, write these problems down, hit the pause button on the video, work them out and then hit the play button again. 
and you can see me working these problems out. All right? See you in a few minutes. Whew, nice. I hope you had a great break. I hope you worked these problems out. Here we go. Reciprocal of the coefficient. Both sides. X equals 16 over 4, which means X equals 4. Did you do that? I knew it. I knew you could do it. I was not worried at all. I hope you weren't worried. Here we go. Same deal. 3 on top of 3 makes 1, right? 3 fourths. Bam. Did you get that one? Of course you did. Let's keep going. Finally, flip the 3, the 2 thirds into 3 halves. Both sides. 15 over 12. That can be reduced. I can see a 3 going into top and bottom. 5 times and 4 times. And just as a bonus, let's change that to a mixed number. There. All right. 3 for 3, 100%. Good job. See you next time.